So we're going to start with the uh, same thing we've done the last two weeks. We're going to do a relaxation response. And the difference here is I'm going to ask uh, if one of you would like to lead it, if you're interested. Don't have to. I'll lead it. Okay. That's Julian, good. what are you thinking? Um, what, what's your idea for? A relaxation uh -huh. response. Mm -hmm. mm. That's too complicated. You have to... The one that I was thinking of, you involve all the senses, uh -huh. and you have something that you have to smell somewhere where oh, you're like grounded, that yeah. and that kind of thing. So I think that's a little too complicated because I didn't read anything that was fragrant. Um, think of something else. I'll do it. What is it? I wrote um, the one that we learned the first week, the breathing, breathe yeah. in, breathe out. And David has a phrase that he says in his head on the breathe in, he says, I'm safe, and on the breathe out, says something else that's positive, positive I'm affirmation. At, I'm at peace. I'm at peace. Thank, Thank you, Larry. That's awesome. I am safe. I am at peace. Yeah. Okay. So you, want me to, you want to use those? I'll write those in. Okay. So when we breathe in, I am safe. And remember, you want to breathe out for longer than you breathe in. Somebody remember that? You want to, if, you, if you count, you want to breathe in. One, two, three, out, one, two, three, four. And I am at peace, Larry. I am at peace. So, thank you for the idea. What we're going to do, we're going to take three minutes and we're going to do the relaxation response. Just come up with your own phrases to use on your in breath and your exhale. It helps too if you put your feet flat on the floor, and I just put my hands on my knees. Hands have to do the jerk too Got you. <laughs> That's thank you. I'm gonna set an alarm for 11:30. I'm just kidding. All right. Breathe in, and in your mind, tell yourself your phrase on your inhalation, and then breathe out, and tell yourself the phrase that you use on your exhale.
Alright. Antonio, sorry, you kind of came in right in the middle of uh, her meditation. So. Alright, everybody relaxed? Better? I'm better. I had to tell myself I wasn't tired, because I'm tired today. I don't know why. I didn't sleep enough. So my exhalation was, I am not tired. I am not tired. We are going to talk about the third chapter of, uh, of the book today. Let's go ahead and turn to page 16. And we're going to read that. And if somebody wouldn't mind reading the first top and the first paragraph. Um, usually diet, exercise, and sleep are the first things called to mind when considering health in the WAM training. These are referred to as healthy eating, physical activity, and restful sleep. Healthy eating. Most people seem to know what foods are healthy. Fruits, vegetables, chicken, fish, lean meat, whole grain, breads, brown rice, skin, or 1% milk, etc. Baked or broiled foods are healthier than fried. People should drink a lot of water and less coffee and soft drinks. Small portions for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a snack in the morning and afternoon are healthier than three larger meals. Stay away from processed food while not while not everyone may follow it. Most know what healthy diets look like. The federal government has made it easier for Americans to remember they are they release. They release the my plate, which is split in four sections for fruit, vegetables, grain, and protein. A smaller circle sits between the plate for dairy products. You can access the My Plate at www.choosemyplate.gov. Thank you. And so Maria has one of those plates to choose to be my that's, nutritionist. That's right. You're right. I've seen that. So yeah. I want to read physical activity. May I make a comment? Yes, on that? Larry. Please. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just, it does sound like like three meals, like um, with a like with this. Why not do snack? Uh, three small meals. I would say dessert after the dinner. That is a six. Would that be better also? Wow, you're asking if it's okay to have dessert? That's correct. I think in moderation, absolutely. Yes, yes, Julian. I just want to add that when I lost my 88 pounds on Jenny Craig, dessert was always a part of everything, and they eat about six meals a day. Jenny Craig people did. Wow. As long as long as it's, it's six meals a day, because if you eat less than that, you would be in fat storing mode. Is that fat burning? Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Very much. They were very helpful. Jenny Craig was great to help me lose eighty eight pounds. That's quite an achievement. Just remember that diet was not for everybody. Though. Yeah. Infinite ways to uh, infinite pathways to recovery. Same with dieting, probably. Yeah. But the people just not have to be on the same diet. Right, you've got to be dealt with. Chris, were you going to say something? How much do you need to A lot. That's the downside. They are pretty expensive. Right? It usually costs about, for me, to get all my food and everything, it was about $700 a month. $700 Way it was like It was like 150 for the Jenny Craig food, which is all the packaged food, and that would be it. You had to supply your own fruits, vegetables, and that kind of thing. So you have to go to the store also. So it was like 150 to go to the store, okay? And then it was all kinds of food costs on top of that. I guess you're not but anymore. I guess what? I guess you quit, huh? Yeah, I had to. I don't have that kind of money anymore yeah. since I got a horse. Well, I gotta tell you, um, when it's priced that high, I would probably immediately think that is not a deal, it is a dud. Well, it helps a lot of people. I mean, rich people are people too. I just can't. I'm just so thinking, what if you don't lose it's weight? You're paying all that money. Mm -hmm. I'd do it right now if I could afford it. I just, right. I can't really afford all that. I liked it. It was portion control. Yeah. They were nice people. You got a counselor every week to tell you what to do. It's great if you have the money. But, I mean, I'm not down to people that have money. I'm just saying, 
I went through a divorce and I lost a bunch of money. So here I sit. All right. Somebody want to read the next uh, paragraph? Physical activity. I'll read it. Thank you, Beth. Physical activity. It seems like a new book is published every day. It is house. Talks. 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 The merits of a particular exercise program. However, there are many simple ways to increase activity level during the day without having to suit up the good to the gym. For example, walking can be a great low impact exercise with numerous health benefits. A person could choose to walk a pet, walk around the block, or through the apartment complex when kept in the mail. A person can also get involved in, act, in, in active and fun recreational activities like hiking, bike riding, gardening, dancing, etc. Take a walk while on a cordless phone, take the stairs instead of the elevator, get off the bus at, early, at the stop early and walk the rest of the way, or park farther away in the parking lot. A pedometer can count steps and help increase the number of steps taken each week. Or go to the, to the local community center gym. It can feel empowering and motivating to join others in a setting that promotes optimum physical health. Thank you, Bev. Anybody have a pedometer or they count the steps on their phone? Anybody look at their phone? No? How do you count the steps on their phone? My phone, I've got an iPhone and it has an app on it that it's a little heart and it counts all your steps. So I can look back and see how many steps I took on any given day. And it's kind of cool, it tells me when I took them. So when I'm in my manic period and I'm up all day and all night for a couple days, I can see, you know, Bill, you were walking for 48 hours. That's a little nuts. So chill out on that next time. Huh. But you like the, the app you said? Yeah, it's very accurate too. Do you remember what it's called? Uh, it's just a, is that an iPhone? Is it, yeah, is this it? It's just a little heart. Is that it? That's it. How neat, look at that. Small okay. steps become healthy habits when you see how they connect. Wow, I'll do this later. That's thank you. Yeah, thank you. So if you got an iPhone, check it out. Um, and I like the, what they say at the, at the end, go to the local gym or community center gym because it's a lot easier for me to exercise or to walk, do something when I have someone else to do it with instead of by myself. Uh, I'm not very good at motivating myself. And one nice thing about Wham that I love that David has told us over and over is it's not about stop stopping doing things that are bad for us, it's about adding things that are good for us. And so, for example, I'm going to go take a walk with a friend after work today. And I know that I'll show up because I have to be accountable to her and she to me. So. And I try to make them happy too, like if I go shopping or something for not too close so I can just uh, go right in the door. Mm -hmm. I like to walk. You know shopping. Not with me, you know. <laughs> no, I don't mind a walk. But I'm oh no, with you it's a different story. <laughs> Shop, shopping is great because I can get yeah, 2,000 steps in Kroger because I go back, I go back and forth too much. Why do you think they stopped all the mall walking? Have you ever noticed that? No. People don't want mall walk anymore? No. At the Cameron Town Center, there used to be a lot of people yeah. before the stores opened yeah. and they would mall walk. They don't promote that anymore. And they don't do that anymore. I wonder if you knew that or why. Well, I don't know. I, I, just I still that. see people at Northgate Mall that walk the mall. You still see them there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Northgate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Northgate has a. What about Tri County? Tri County. Anybody ever go to Mall Walk in Tri County? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I think I probably would say it's because of the safety because it had like a lot of crimes since it's made. Maybe. Yeah, I think that jewelry store over there had a break in or something had a theft problem at the Kilo Town Center. And I see a lot of old Bailey Banks people and going cuts on right. like, uh -huh. so they, they just be walking. And I see the school, you know, it's healthy for them too. It's wonderful. And I look up one time and look over the, um, the uh, balcony and they downstairs walking. I said, <laughs> man, they good. That's <laughs> all better than me. <laughs> Does anybody, anybody here walk regularly? I try to. I, I just need people to walk with. You know. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. I like to. I live near Eden Park, and I like to walk up to the park, walk around, up to the art museum. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. 
Restful sleep. Somebody want to read the last paragraph on this page? I got it. Restful sleep. Restful sleep is another important health issue. While many articles and new reports point to the increased incidence of sleep deprivation, not all people know how to counteract it. It is unhealthy to go without needed sleep. Sleep deprivation significantly affects health. Long-term, untreated sleep deprivation is associated with many illnesses, including high blood pressure, heart attack, heart failure, stroke, obesity, and mental health problems. Tell me about it. Know why I had to read that one? Because that's the worst thing I have is my sleep habits. I am just terrible with sleep. I don't think I've slept in my bed in two weeks. I've been sleeping on the couch downstairs. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Are you taking anything for I do. I take Seroquel, which uh, I, I hate Seroquel because it makes me feel uh, out of like out of control. And, like I'm out of it if I take it. Yeah, if someone wakes me up, if I'm taking Seroquel and someone wakes me up, I don't make sense. Okay. Does, so does that make sense? It does make you gain weight um, as well. It does, yeah. Well, I take Seroquel also, and I take lithium, and I take something new for me, and it was called Trazodone. Uh huh. And I also take melatonin. Melatonin helps me. Since I've been taking melatonin, I've had less problems. So, and I take like. 800 milligrams of Seroquel wow. because so I need to just be much. put out yeah. you know, and I cannot stand being up at night and I'll just go off, you know, I'll just play my songs and dance mm -hmm. like a maniac mm -hmm. and just, you know, upset everybody in town and just, yeah. you know, I mean, my neighbors don't need to, to have me doing that at late night, you know, and so I'm sorry to them, but and I have been pretty good lately because I've been on these four medications at mm -hmm. night. I just wondered, I mean, I do take Seroquel, I know what you mean, but I think if you take it at night early enough, I take mine around 8, uh -huh. at most like 9 o'clock at night, and that way they wear off during the day, Yeah, it's and been, it's not so bad for me, I was thinking maybe that could be true for somebody else. I appreciate that, Tom. Um, I, did, I did have to start taking it earlier because I would not be out of it, I would still be out of it, you know, for until 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And so it was, it was making me groggy, uh -huh. very groggy. And I've only taken 150 milligrams. Um, but your body gets used to it too. And that's a good thing. Do you think? Yeah, with the Seroquel, you have to be very careful because it will eat your kidney. Um, I was on the 800 milligrams for about two years when they finally noticed it was affecting my kidney. Oh my gosh. So yeah, be sure to get your kidney and liver checked out. Seroquel and Prazodone have a tendency of eating it. I did not know that. And lithium. That's, yeah. excuse me, that's one thing that really, really makes me mad. People go to doctors and the doctors don't do the proper blood work. Many of the medicines that you just listed, especially lithium, can destroy, and I mean destroy, and I'm not trying to scare you, your kidneys, your liver, so forth and so on. It's just so important. It makes me so mad when people when you get something, look up the medication. Mm -hmm. Know the good, the best points and the not so good points. It doesn't mean it's going to happen to you, right. but you should be an informed consumer. You know, thank you for mentioning that. I take lithium as well, mm -hmm. and I have to get my blood work done. My, my doctor won't prescribe it anymore until they get my blood work mm -hmm. done. So she, right. cause she's serious Great about it. Great doctor, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm really pleased with my current doctor. Mm -hmm. And I have gone through several doctors in my quest to get well. Yeah. And the worst wasn't a doctor at all, it was a, just someone in the court system, um, a magistrate, who told me, you'll never get well, you know. Oh my God. And she, you always are going to have this. She just wants to assert herself over me mm -hmm. and just be nasty about it. So I don't believe that. I believe we all can get well. I think this is a recovery center. Now, I invested in it today. I gave you a little money to say, I believe in a recovery center. I mean, I believe it as a church. It's something that's happening now that God is blessing the recovery center. And I have a good doctor who's a Christian who tells me to get my blood work done, who understands it with me. And the reason I had to increase it was because she was on vacation or something. Mm -hmm. And I was with somebody else. 
and they weren't really a great doctor. Mm -hmm. okay, while I was at the hospital, I had someone, amazingly, with the initials JC, like Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Right. Like, just, uh, it wasn't exactly Jesus Christ to me. Now, I don't mean to down it, but I don't mean to you know, ruin their whole program at UC, but okay. they could get a better doctor in there and do better if they had my doctor. She would be better down there, but I'm happy she's in private practice and she's for me, and that we have a good relationship, and that the first thing she'll tell me when I come back is that we need to get the blood work done. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. Okay. And uh, there are good doctors, and also let's not forget the nurse practitioners that are out there Absolutely. that are you know serving the population now. I just have met so many people that, well, what are you taking? What are the side effects? What do you take it for? I don't know. The doctor just gave it to me. Well, some people are at that level and they need that. And then if they have a good doctor, they should marry anyway. They right. should just be happy that they're getting well. Right. You know? I mean, I don't have an intimate understanding of Seroquel outside of the fact that I've been taking it for a while. And I know how it does affect me. And Dee had mentioned that before, and other people have too. Mm -hmm. And that's just being intelligent, you know? Right. And so I agree with Dee Dee on you and with you, Bill, that you just have to work through it and figure out what you're doing for yourself and then hopefully tell other people about it that you can pass things off each other and it can make sense, you know? And so I think my medication is finally starting to make some sense. You know, I'm happy with it. And the element of time that people seem to forget. And a lot of times it takes the right combination. There's a lot of things yeah. before you can get where, where it's good for you and your body. Yeah. 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 I always say they can take away your car, they can take away their mon your money, they can take away just about everything, but don't ever let somebody take away your hope. Because that's an unhappy person that wants to make you unhappy. Don't let them have that power on you or over you. I, I mean, that goes for everybody. That's why I mean, we that's need to take our medications regularly mm -hmm. and have good doctors who understand why blood work is mm -hmm. necessary. Mm -hmm. Now, GCP has a program that's starting, I'm one of the first few people, that have called Medicine DNA. So they take blood work and they test it for different types of meds that will fit or work with you instead of playing an experiment. Um, that way you don't have to, you know, you have to ask the doctor. I know GCP is, my doctor is pretty good, but he's very young. So, he was the one who told me about it and said, well, you're on all these medicines. Let's not like anything with your body and do it with your blood. <coughs> so you can request it. There is a form to fill out. Uh, it is only used for medication. It is not used for anything else. So, but uh, that <coughs> has taken me off about nine different medicines uh, that I've been on that have bad reactions. Wow. So. Thank you. So that's called medicine DNA? Yep. And they test your blood to see what medicines would work and what categories is the best. Okay. You can do it with a uh, oh, mouth swab too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they said the blood is more, uh, can, they can test more things mm -hmm. than the swab. The swab is a small amount, but the blood is like that much. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. All right. Let's turn to page 17. We are going to go through each of these three things we just read about, healthy eating, physical activity, and restful sleep. And we're going to write some notes and make a little plan that we can think about over the next week to try to do better on one or more of these things. <coughs> on page 17, healthy eating. These are some foods or snacks that I tend to eat or drink. <coughs> on a regular basis. <coughs> Somebody tell me something they eat or drink on a regular basis. Okay. Coffee. Okay. Coffee? Tea. Tea. Plenty of water. Plenty of water. Diet Dr. Pepper is mine. <laughs> Larry, how long has it been since you had a soda? I've been seven. <coughs> seven months. Yeah, I stopped back a tiny bit, but I stopped. I stopped drinking it at a, a tiny bit at a time of salvation and then get back on track. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Next little bullet. I think these are some healthy foods. Bev, what's a food that you think is a healthy food? Apples. Apples. Cece, what about you? I was going to say fruit, um, vegetables. 
Broccoli, spinach, kale. I like spinach. Swiss chard, but also all those. Squash. Squash? Greens. Greens are very good. Greens are very What kind of squash may I have? Uh, usually just a yellow squash. I like. I believe I have a squash. I guess it's good. Yeah. Like I was just wondering. My favorite is spaghetti squash. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like spaghetti. Right. Doesn't have the calories and stuff to it. It's fantastic. Use it for pasta dishes. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really something healthy and it's really easy to fix. Can you it's use great. that now for a salad? You can use it for anything. Wow. I've got a question for you guys. Um, gluten. Anybody go gluten free? Most of the family. Yeah. Do you notice the difference in the way you feel? I'm not as sluggish. Okay. Um, and it digests a lot better. Okay. Especially since I had stomach surgery, uh, it doesn't like most vegetables and things like that. But uh, I even got a vegetable pasta that's gluten free mm -hmm. as well. Uh -huh. so, I bought some pasta at Kroger the other day that was gluten free and. Just to see. Just with that, you need to put a little bit of olive oil in the water or butter. I prefer olive oil. Yeah. It keeps it from sticking. Okay. I did notice that it had a different kind of a texture. Larry? Explain to us what gluten free means. I cannot do that, Larry. I wish that I could. Anybody, That's why I asked if anyone else was, yeah, was, was anybody, trying to go gluten free. Does anybody know what, what, what gluten free means? Gluten is the chemical that makes, you know, when you mix bread rice, and the combination of the flour and the and whatever you use to flour, the sugar, just like you would make wine. That's what would cause the bread to rise and it cause the gluten and also affects your body. Um, it's found basically like in oats and wheat and yeah, rye. That's what I was going to say. I thought it was yeast that makes it very Well, it is, but when you take chemicals and mix them, the compound changes. But Aldi's has a great gluten bread, okay. gluten-free bread. That's really, it's, I mean, it's wonderful. I almost, almost ate like half a loaf. <laughs> Cece, do you notice a difference in how you feel after you eat gluten-free? Oh, certainly. Yeah? You know. I'm looking for more energy. So I feel like if I eat a meal, it, I just get tired. Yeah. Anybody ever feel that way? No. Um, what helps me? because I get tired a lot, is actually the Maria suggested getting water with a little bit of this. Uh -huh. and, uh, it has B12, B6, and B3, and a little bit of caffeine that's better than the caffeine and all that. Uh -huh. that. So, and it's in flavors. You can get like 90 different flavors. Okay. So, and you put it in your regular water, just one squirt. Cool. What's it called again? Uh, this is called Energy Black. It's called a water enhancer. Water enhancers you find in the grocery store? Oh yeah, they got like almost a hundred different versions at the Kroger's up here. How much is that cost? Uh, the Kroger version is around two dollars. The Neo, which is a little bigger and has more flavor, is anywhere between three to four dollars. But if you use the Kroger app, you always get them discounted. So I save a lot of money using the Kroger app. How long do they last, Edie? Huh? How long do they last? They last quite a bit. Now, I drink after excessive water, and so it uh, lasts three or four days. Okay. I go through nine bottles of water a day. Wow. Good for you. Actually, the doctor says I'm dehydrated, and they don't know why. Wow. Sometimes it might be your food combinations, the things that you're eating that will make you tired, that yeah. will cause your, if you like a lot of carbohydrates, which will make you feel like you're in no man's land. Mm -hmm. And then, because um, what they're doing with diabetics now, if you have trouble with your, um, oh gosh, your, your levels, your carbohydrate levels and things, they treat people now with food as opposed to upping the insulin. Really? And try different combinations. Because you might be sensitive to something that you're eating, that's right, the reason a food log is pretty good. and. Tap, when you go to the dietitian, she'll look at what you're eating, and they can usually 
tap right into, hey, you're eating this with this, that's the wrong thing to eat at that time. That's interesting. It's a lot of, you know, great things that they're doing now. So, and then basically with, with diabetics, like you have a certain amount of carbohydrates you eat with each meal, and then you usually take 15 between for your snacks and things, and you would be uh, surprised if, you, if you're having trouble, maybe you, maybe they'll reverse some of the things that you're taking, and your body will be able to accept it more like something in the morning as opposed to something at night or in the evening. So there's a lot of new things you're doing now. And I recommend for everybody, this is just me, to see uh, a registered dietitian because they can, they're just wonderful. They can talk to you and take just a brief amount of information, and they can tell you what you're doing wrong. Does anybody know where you could see a dietitian for free, one-on-one, -on -one? Here, Maria. Yes, <laughs> Maria. Maria Atkins is a nutritionist dietitian, mm -hmm. and that's she that's would love awesome. to meet with you one on one. Um, she's very good. Very good. You're right. That makes a big difference. And that to me, Cece, goes back to the accountability thing, like we talked about walking with somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, if I have someone that is going to ask me what have I been eating, I'm going to tell them what have I been mm -hmm. eating. Also, if you can't eat fried foods, it. Besides it making your blood sugar go nuts, mm -hmm. it'll also make you sluggish. Yeah, um, yeah I've noticed that too. I've changed the oil I use. I actually use water with ground beef, you know. But uh, anything else I need, I use olive oil. Okay. It's just lighter, and it does have a, a slight taste to it, so it enhances things. Mm -hmm. But olive oil, you only need about that much in a pan to cook anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you used the pans? I have used the pans, but after my pan does not like them, so. Oh, I, okay. Because the avocado pan is fantastic, what's, what's and it also called? the av, av, pardon me. What's it called? Pam. It's a spray. Avocado pan. Avocado pan. Yeah. Spam. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's a spray. <laughs> it's a spray. Mm -hmm. And another good thing is I can't believe it's not butter. The spray now has zero calories. Oh. That, that's the spray. It's fantastic. I use it in cooking like cakes and things, and people think that you've made something with butter, but there's no butter to it, so you don't add any calories or anything to it. I will tell you this. You have to watch out for artificial preservatives. Yes. <coughs> These two things don't. Probably right. I think these are some unhealthy foods. I have to add pizza because I eat way too much pizza. What was that again? I learned in a home economics class that pizza was one of the most healthy foods there was. Not the way I eat it, Bev. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah. Bev, did you ever try Lean Cuisine pizzas? They're not bad. Because pizza's got your, it's got your brain, it's got your dairy. Yeah, it's got your protein. It's a protein. Might get a vegetable. Might get a vegetable. Yep. But <laughs> still, I'm not going with it. It's good for anything. Uh, what's, that's what I learned anyway. What's a food that someone else thinks is an unhealthy food? Oh, i got to put Soda. donuts. What, what was it? Soda. Soda. Oh, donuts. Yeah. I love donuts. I do so Chips. <laughs> Chips. I've never had a healthy donut. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Bacon is the only food that will come out and tell you, I'm going to kill you if you eat meat, but you still have to eat it because it's delicious. <laughs> Anybody else have anything? I am going to have to say processed candies. Processed candies. That makes sense, yes. These are some of the healthy foods that I like. Somebody tell me healthy foods they like. I like avocados. I heard it. Oh, I love avocados. Avocados are great. I want to say nectarines are wonderful. And mangoes. Ooh, I love mangoes. Oh, me too. I couldn't decide over mango or nectarines. I love small berries. Well, I love mangoes. Berries? What kind of berries? Like black blueberries. Blueberries are wonderful for you, right? Mm -hmm. I think. I told that. Oatmeal? I had oatmeal this morning. Yeah, I love it. Well, I like using the oatmeal with raisins in my life. 
So it's a racism school for cinnamon. In the diabetics. Is it really? Yeah, it is. What kind of Put a little cinnamon in your own cell. It was Quaker. Yeah, a little cinnamon in it. It's a little bowl. Yeah, I love little bowls. They're due. Put a little cinnamon in your own meal. It had, it had a little in it. And it was easy because you just have to take the top off and you put the water in. And right. You eat it up. Cinnamon is really good for diabetics. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it is. But you got to make sure, because I hate to say this, you have to make sure you don't eat processed cinnamon. It has to be a naturally occurring cinnamon that is repaired. Because there's a big difference if you get it fresh as opposed to getting it out of the can. Uh, oh, you're talking about the sticks. That no, well, just if you go to like to the natural food store, I hate to say health food store, the processing, all, if it's processed in a way, it'll wash away the effects of the sun. Okay. So, you know, but it is good for you. Gotcha. And my doctor told me uh, cherries, like baby cherries. Yep, that, that's Never take one. those machinos, cherries, because those have been processed and put lots of sugar in them. Yeah. I will tell you this, that... Cherries, somebody told me they're blood monsters. Yeah. Really? They're good for your blood pressure. Just red cherries? Mm -hmm. yeah. What are three to five things a person might start doing on a regular basis to improve their healthy eating habits? I know one for, yeah. for me is start going to the store and stop getting Uber Eats. Uber Eats? What's that? The Uber delivers food from. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, it's just about it. So you can do a lot of, uh, you're doing a lot of delivery? Like yep. Food delivery too? Well, you weren't feeling well. It's true. Cut down on pop. Got it, Bev. Like it. Thank you. Drink more water. Yeah. 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 But this one here, where was it? This is uh, Coy, Coy Boulevard and Vine Street. No, Coyville, Coy Street and Jefferson Avenue. Okay. Across from the UC campus, actually. Right, okay. Yeah, that's mine. Mm -hmm. That's so, actually where we go when we have time. You can't walk there, though. You can't walk there. I walk there. <coughs> well, do you? How's it go? I should, I should say, she walks there. You do? Who yeah, walks to be with me? Give me two more things that we can do on a regular basis to improve healthy eating habits. Eat less processed food. Eat less processed food. Food. What about a food journal? Whoa! That's the A for the day. Food journal. That's a great idea, Larry. Tell me about I did it. not do that at all. What do you mean by food journal? Recording the food you eat for each meal and each snack. What do you guys think about that idea? It's a great idea. I think so too. I think that's a wonderful idea. I think your brain, at least I know mine, if I have to write down what I'm putting in my body, I'm going to start changing that because I'm going to get tired of writing down pizza. You donuts. know, I have, I have another idea. What's that, Doug? I heard it's good for your brain to eat, eat fish once a week. Yes, I've heard that too. Eat what? Once a week? Fish. One of those omega fatty acids. Omega 3. Yes. Omega 3. So oh, tuna fish. Uh, also with Sam. journals, recording and also putting down how you're feeling when you're eating. Because you would be surprised you could pick up patterns that you're doing emotional eating or maybe the mood that you're in yep. has something to do with what you eat and how you eat it That's and how true. you prepare it. So the combination of the things uh, has helped. I know it's helped me a lot. It's very true for me too, she's correct. What about like this or something like Everything. I would say a whole health journal. Whole health journal. Like a holistic thing. Yeah, but every kind of health. I like it. Let's go to a different kind of health. Let's turn the page. Page 18. Physical activity. Kind of the same set of questions. Mm. The following are or have been some of my favorite physical activities. Somebody give me something they have to do. Walking. Walking. Bike riding. Bike riding. Water aerobics. Running. Running. Running's a good one. Water aerobics. Riding a stationary bike. You do that right here, can't you? Yeah. 
right downstairs. I would, I would, I would absolutely walk in like on a sidewalk or on a treadmill. That's mm -hmm. why it's too hard for so many hard That's people. what I like. I like that when we just stand up just walk. I love that. Talking about the <laughs> elliptical machine? Yes. You know I cannot do an elliptical machine. I don't know why this is. I cannot go backwards. I cannot go forwards. I look like this. <laughs> Instead of what? the rhythm, yeah. my, my legs just can't do it. And you can't coordinate just to walk. <laughs> no. It's just no, like you're walking. Now my physical therapist, what? she got me on one, but they attached a special uh, uh, rope thing to keep me in balance on uh -huh. the side. So, but we had fun trying to get my left leg to work. Okay. Anybody have anything else? I do uh, water aerobics. Julianne said water aerobics. Where do you do that, Dee? At the Y, up on the movement, on the left side. And where do you go, Julianne? Try help, help, and okay. fitness for the That one's expensive. It is. I still don't remember that, but the, I know the general manager, her name is Deb Riggs. She was really nice, and because of everything that happened to me, she let me join without a joining fee. Mm -hmm. So it's cheap to me. I mean, it's still kind of expensive yeah. because you have to pay $80 a month to continue every month there. But, I mean, if you always budget... Buy money stuff. What? <laughs> you always find the money stuff. Well, I went through a nasty divorce, and oh. I had to learn how to live with less, you know? Yeah. And uh, I had a great life. I had a wonderful husband. And then one day he just cheated on me. He went nuts. I mean, he's he's undiagnosed, but I believe he's going to be bipolar yeah. and just absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. And I'm sad for him, and we're still friends and everything, but I mean, everybody hear the expression burnt toast? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it's done. He got her pregnant, they had a baby, she's pregnant again, she has four kids, mm -hmm. she's not the nicest lady in the whole world. Well, I guess neither am I. And so we all don't go on perfectly, but he's still my light friend because he gives me money. And I still appreciate that aspect of it. So maybe that's what you're picking up on. Yeah, I'm going to come in two minutes, but... Thank you, Larry. Uh, I just wanted to say one thing. A lot of people aren't aware. Check with your insurance companies because Silver Sneakers is on just about everything where you can go to over, what is it, 14,000 places in the United States and go free with your Silver Sneaker card. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's great advice. The medical plan that you're on, whatever insurance you have, they would rather uh, not have to pay for claims and rather keep pay to keep you healthy. So what do you have to do with that? Uh, if you're on the silver sneakers, you can call them and ask them to send you a card. Call your insurance company yeah. and ask them, and then they'll they'll take you to give you the number to call oh. for the silver sneakers. Okay. Each company handles it differently. Right. And you don't have to go just to one. You could go to like, if there's 55 in Cincinnati, you could go to all 55 if you'd like. Okay, so they may have one right in your area too. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I currently enjoy the following physical activities with other people. Um, can, can you, he mentioned processed foods, kind of like identify what processed is. Lunch meat would be one of them. So what makes it processed? All the salt mm -hmm. and the way that it's put together. So if and it's fortified, of if it's fortified, then it's processed. No, not if it's fortified. I thought fortified meant they add things to it. Well, they add things, but usually if you talk about for, be, things being fortified, you usually think about vitamins and different things that they put in. At least that's what I, I would usually think. Oh. You have to... It's, it's really important to read your labels because, for instance, um, well, I'm trying to think of something. That seltzer water that has the flavoring in it, if you would read that. That you mentioned. Oh, okay. The water no. answer? No, that's, 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 that's different. different. That's different. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's it's loaded that's with salt. Keep it oh, yeah, that's but they also have some vitamin C and some vitamin A in there. And so people drink that and they'll wonder, well, why am I retaining fluid? It's because the salt that's in there. What's your name? Uh, Edith. Edith, does that got salt in it? No. Okay. I go by Edith. But, but become a label reader, be an informed consumer. And it's really have, important. 
And some of the are so so little you can't even call them. Well, right, and they do that for a reason yeah. too. Yeah. Um, you can also talk to Maria. She's doing a class on that. I think she's going to do that like next quarter or something. To talk about those issues because uh, with the processed food makes you gain weight as well. Yeah, that you know what? That's a great comment, Didi. Um, we've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. Talk to Maria. She would love to see you one on one. You don't have to see her repeatedly. You just see her one time, and you know, Chris, just go and say, "Hey, what should I be eating?" And she can give you a whole layout of of what's processed and what's not. Okay. Anybody else have uh, an activity that they enjoy currently doing with other people? Talking. Talking. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm writing it down because I like That's it. True. What if you're walking and talking? It's easier to, to walk when I talk. Oh, that's one of my dreams. If I could walk and talk, that'd be something great. When I use my manual chair, I use my legs mostly to push it around. Uh -huh. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, that church does access to control. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm wow. sure I currently enjoy doing following physical activities by myself. Anybody? I have a concave um, treadmill. What's that, Susie? Okay, instead of a treadmill being on, you know, instead of it being on a flat surface or you, where you can elevate and stuff, it's actually, say, like a smile, and it takes the pressure off your legs uh -huh. and stuff. And it's it's a lot. I think it's fun if it gets me to have a good time. And um, you can you get to control how far you want your body to move, and also your legs and your feet on the concave treadmill. I've had that for a long time. That's fantastic. I like that. What are three to five things a person might start doing on a regular basis to include more physical activities in their life? Somebody yell one at me. Work on my head. Work on the house? Yeah. How about gardening? Gardening, I love it. Mm -hmm. I need to cut my grass. I'm trying to find a tandem bike. Tandem bike? Yeah. Has anybody ever heard of the Mighty Vine? What's it called? Mm -hmm. The Mighty Vine. Oh, what's that? A rock on, isn't it? It's a really inexpensive fitness club run by consumers. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it now? Sure. Yep. I, w I really, really wish that there is a place where you give free um, gym access or something. I wish there was. Totally free to anybody. Yeah. Mighty Vine is not free, but it's about as close as you can get. Yeah, it's yeah. very expensive. Have you been in the Mighty Vine mm -hmm. over at Icron? I've not been inside much. Where is it? It's uh, at Icron on Vine. It's across from that park. It's Echo Park. Icon, I'm not sure what ICRON stands for. Integration of Knowledge and Resources for Occupational Needs. Say that again. Integration of Knowledge and Resources for Occupational Needs. Cool. So they work with consumers, peers, people you know, like us, uh, to help uh, find jobs. Mostly. Oh, okay. That's but they do have, that's where the warm line is, if you've ever heard of the warm line that we have, have the post up here for. You, know, you can call and talk to anybody anytime you want. Um, or in the Mighty Vine. Thank you, Bev, for mentioning that because it's a, it's a decent little gym. Yeah, very good quality exercise. State of the art. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. We're about out of time. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd let it go a little bit too, uh, we a little too slow, but I think it's important stuff. Um, what we would like to do for next time, when you come in next Monday, tell us, tell David and I, and let's tell each other what one change you've made. It doesn't have to be consistent. Just say, I did this one time, or I did this you know, every day, or however often you did it. It could be with your diet, or it could be with your physical activity, or your sleep. And I would encourage you to go to page 18, the next page, and do those questions on sleep. Go through those and just kind of identify what you might be able to do. Actually, page 19. Is it 19? Thank you. I, there was one thing I wanted to mention. Yeah. I know I've talked too much. As far as, are, have you had a sleep study done? I did. I did have a sleep study because they had a fear that I had sleep apnea, I think. So I had that done, but I, my sleep problems are really, I just don't go to bed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they're doing them at home now. That's that's the other thing I was going to They, they hooked my 
my head up and sent me home one time. Mm -hmm. yeah.